Some 60,000 children are rushed to the ER each year because they got into medicine that was left within their reach. Experts say one way to stop that is simply get rid of medication you don't use. News Channel 5's Jennifer Kraus tells us it's time to spring clean your medicine cabinet. Your medicine cabinet can become a dumping ground for old drugs. But Consumer Reports says the risks for accidental poisoning for kids increase with every bottle of pills you keep. Those leftover pills are far from harmless. Taking them incorrectly or accidentally could be deadly or land a child in the ER. Especially if you're talking about leftover narcotic painkillers such as Oxycontin, Percocet, and Vicodin. Prescription sleep aids like Ambien and anti-anxiety medications like Xanax are also problematic. You really want to make sure medications like these are secure, either locked away or well hidden, just out of kids reach. Over-the-counter medicines can also be an issue, particularly if things look and taste like candy. So take care with what you keep on hand. A new nationally representative consumer report survey found 19% of people hadn't cleaned out their medicine cabinet in over three years. National Prescription Drug Take Back Day on April 29th is the perfect time to turn in leftover and expired medication for safe disposal. If you do throw them out, be sure to remove any personal information from the bottle first and mix the drugs with something unappealing like coffee grounds or kitty litter before sealing in a plastic bag and tossing in the garbage. Jennifer Kraus, News Channel 5. And we should point out that bins like this one are all around the state of Tennessee for you to safely dispose of your medicine. And we have a list of the locations on our website. Just check out newschannel5.com.